And now to a case that dates back decades, a serial killer in the suburbs of Indianapolis. Tonight, a new effort to find answers in this investigation that's been ongoing for a quarter of a century. Now, the suspected killer is Herbert Baumeister. His former Westfield estate is where investigators say he disposed of his victims. Back in 1996, deputies found thousands of decomposed and charred remains of at least 25 people. Herbert Baumeister is suspected of luring gay men to his Fox Hollow farm that's near 156th and US 31 and then killing them. Eight victims have been identified so far, but there is still a lot of work to be done in this case. Tonight, our Rachel Krause takes a look at the DNA changes making it possible to identify the other victims. It, it's real frustrating. I mean, you know, we have to wait. Uh, everybody's curious. We have our own thoughts, but we have to wait until we get a, an answer from the anthropologist. That was in 1996 as investigators searched Fox Hollow Farms, the home of suspected serial killer Herbert Baumeister. What they found were more questions. From that search, uh, there were nearly 10,000 bones and bone fragments. Recovered. Hamilton County Coroner elect Jeff Jellison says initially that led to 11 DNA profiles being identified, matching eight people, all reported as missing persons, believed to be victims of Baumeister. Investigators believe Baumeister had been preying on gay men, killing them, and burying them on his property. But soon after the investigation began, he took his own life. That's left many of Baumeister's alleged victims unidentified for over a quarter of a century. We think that there's probably more people uh, that were recovered from, from that location, and maybe as possibly as many as 25 people. With the improvements to DNA testing and a team of investigators ready to dig in, Jellison says they're ready to get to work in identifying all of Baumeister's remaining victims. These remains represent people. There's someone's son, someone's father, someone's brother, and these people have been placed on a shelf for 26 years. They were essentially forgotten, and they're not forgotten any longer. Hopeful that forensic advancements will allow investigators to take these once discarded remains buried at Fox Hollow Farms and finally give families answers and allow them to say goodbye to their loved ones. You, you want to provide those people with a final resting place. And really the only way we can do that is to <clears throat> identify them. So for family members, it, it's huge to have closure. As we've reported, those remains discovered at Baumeister's home in Westfield are now at the University of Indianapolis. UND works with people from all over the nation to help identify these kinds of human remains with the school's state-of-the-art biology labs. The school's Human Identification Center helps with forensic identification and studies the longevity and transfer of DNA. Now, Hamilton County investigators are asking families here in Indiana and in surrounding states who had a son, brother, or father go missing back in the 80s or 90s to come forward. They want to get a cheek swab for a DNA test and through that identify these remaining victims. We've got the contact information. It's right now on WTHR.com.